Today is September 11th, a date that anyone in the Western and the Eastern world will have a direct reference to. But this video is not about 2001, it's about 2003, and something that hit my people, the Swedes and the Europeans, and possibly people beyond Europe pretty hard. At the late summer of 2003, Sweden was getting ready to vote for the euro as a currency. Debates were rolling between and within parties, the ruling party and the party in opposition, and within each party there were yes and there were no. In August of 2003, I had gone to Australia to study film at Bonn University, and on September 11th, we were attending the vice chancellor's reception, wearing suits and walking around with our champagne glasses. and. This place had a lot of different nationalities and I was trying to spot, you know, if there were any Swedes. I knew there was going to be quite a lot of Swedes there. So I was walking around the crowd trying to see if I could, you know, make any of them out. And then in the middle of the vice chancellor's speech, there was a phone call. I had the cell phone on silent, so I didn't take it. And then there was another one, another one. And on the fifth one, I picked it up and I saw that there was five different numbers from Sweden. And the sixth call, I took. Well, stand here at the on the 10th of September. Utrikesminister Anna Lind, knivhuggen och allvarligt skadad överföljs på varuhus mitt i centrala Stockholm. Because of the time difference between Sweden and Australia, where Australia is nine hours ahead, we had no idea what had happened because we were already in bed. But in Sweden. The scenario started rolling out. Vi ställer för vår del in alla aktiviteter i folkomröstningskampanjen tills vidare. Vi tar ny ställning till hur vi ska förfara i slutfasen imorgon. The attack happened on September 10th and people were unsure of how serious it was. But on September 11th they woke up to this. Enligt TT uppger i denna stund att utrikesminister Anna Lind har avlidit. Vi väntar alltså här på presskonferens med statsminister Göran Persson. Regeringen är samlad och informerad. Ett stort pressuppbåde på plats. Det är med stor sorg som jag har tagit emot beskedet att Sveriges utrikesminister Anna Lind 05.29 denna morgon har avlidit av de skador hon fick i gårdagsattentat. Med ett internationellt engagemang som sträcker sig ända tillbaka till dess uttiden blev hon en uppskattad samarbetspartner i internationella sammanhang. I answered the phone and person said that Anna Lynn is dead. And it took a few seconds before I realized or understood what, what it was she was saying to me. And suddenly the room changed. It was, it was a very strange situation where it was almost as if certain people became black and white, whereas others were still in color. And suddenly making out who were Swedes in the room was not very difficult. You could see. And at this moment, the vice chancellor walks up to me, and he kind of, you know, clinks my glass, and he says, "How are you feeling?" And I turn to him and I say, "My foreign minister was murdered." And after that, I don't remember anything really from that evening. There are moments in one's life where something happens that, and it affects so many people. September 11, 2001 was one of those. For us Swedes, when the Estonia boat between Sweden and Estonia sank, taking more over 800 lives with it, that was one of those moments where everybody is in a state where they are thinking and feeling a similar thought. It's a very powerful thing. And it was so odd not to be in Sweden during this time. 
and reading everything on newspapers and really 2003 this was before really video hit the net as a um, as a way of communication now you would see like endless amount of stream video but back then you had slideshows and you had articles but very little real televisions it was really hard to uh, to grasp because regardless of what your polit political affiliation is if you're left right middle or not at all when your foreign minister is killed as was the case here it does affect because it stirs some of that safety you thought you had that in your thoughts and prayers today you keep in mind foreign minister Anna Lind of Sweden who I work very closely with and so many of you know who was tragically killed yesterday and may your thoughts and prayers be with people of Sweden and with her family and with her children she was a, a great leader independent courageous and a true internationalist. The world on the 11th of September, again with uh, horrible irony, has lost another very substantial contributor to a better and a safer world.